In this video, I'd like to show you everything I did to launch my learning platform. And hopefully by the end of this video, you will know everything you need to go from an idea to a final product and know everything in between so nothing's scary and you have a general idea of what it looks like. Because frankly, I know it's a little scary to go into something like this. You know, maybe you're new to code or you're learning to code and you're trying to start a business. And frankly, I wish I had something like this where I had a general idea of what the process looks like of going from like a general idea to making money from the software product. And that is exactly what you will learn in this video. And I mean, I've talked about this in big quantities uh, in previous videos. So if you want to know more about it, you can check it out. But basically it's an LMS platform where people can come in, learn specific concepts in coding or, you know, data structures and algorithms, whatever it may be, and hopefully get a better idea of code, become better programmers and build cool shit with their code. And if we head over to our Excalibur draw, we can get started on aligning up the process and walking through everything I did to do so. Now, the first thing I did to build and launch my SaaS product is to learn to code and get good at coding. I believe this is where a lot of people fail. You know, anyone generally can learn to code. You know, we have people learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, millions of people every day, right? But I think it takes a special type of person to not only learn to code and learn the basics, but take it up a notch and get really, really good at programming. And frankly, no one wants to accept this. We just want to do the bare minimum and hope for the best. But in reality, this is not the case. What we're trying to do here with the channel, we cannot accept being average to make a lot of money to launch a good software you have to be exceptional and you're not going to be exceptional if you're average at code and here's what i mean right on the one hand someone will think to themselves oh i'm gonna build a SaaS product and they build a freaking to-do app you know what i mean like a basic to-do app and think to themselves i'm gonna make a million dollars with this like shut up shut up you're not gonna make a million dollars by just making a to-do app that's never gonna happen because everyone can make a to-do app. Instead, you want to build something so freaking special that people will be forced to buy it. For example, building out a platform or something that people cannot replicate and it takes a lot of skill to do. In my case, I'm not going to toot my own horn because this is not the most complicated app in the world, of course. However, it does take some skill to build out a full stack app with authentication with search functionalities with you know dynamic routing and stuff like that and i know a lot of you do not want to hear this first step but we have to understand especially in this channel if you don't want to accept this then you don't have to watch this video but you should be really good at code and generally guys generally you will need to learn code for a, about a year before you can start building stuff i thought that i could build cool stuff by six months but looking back i freaking sucked i was so bad at programming six months ago even though i was building full stack apps and that just came as a result of putting in the efforts putting in the work and just being patient with myself and believing that if i continued working i will go from a basic to-do app to building out a platform and by that year mark if you work hard enough you will feel ready to build out the applications that you want because the last thing you want is to copy someone else's code not know what's going on in the program and then when you launch whatever software you think you're launching you won't be able to manage it because software is beyond just the managing now the next part of our building guide and what i did to launch my learning platform is the idea now i talked about the idea a lot in my previous videos so check that out if you want to like know more about going from an idea to production it's quite a good video but basically here's where i just thought about an idea and started working on it Again, generally just find a need. I wanted to build a platform for people to come to code because I don't think there's a good one in my opinion, or at least a high level one other than fireships. And I just wanted to build one. Okay. I'm going to skim through this really quickly, but just find a need, find something that people may want to pay for and want to pay for and build it out. The next thing I did was pick a tech stack. I know that you are interested in what the tech stack is and you know what I'm doing to build out such a full stack app. It's probably very interesting to you. And the tech stack that I used in this platform was Next.js, Tailwind CSS, Shad CN for the designing. And for the back end, I just used Prisma DB. And generally, this is the tech stack that I have been using for most of my software. Don't tell me why. I just really like this 
tech stack. For you, it may be different. I'm just showing you what I like and what I enjoy. And oh, also for APIs and payments, I usually take something like Stripe JS for the API to take payments. But this is the tech stack for me and this is what I used. And look, people who are buying your stuff couldn't care less about what you are using. My editor, for example, who's probably editing this. I don't care what software he is using to edit this video. The main point is that he edits a video and does it good. Right, Ben? So just pick one, stick to it, get really good at that tech stack by learning to code and getting really good at code. And because you got really good at code, you can build a full stack app pretty well and you can kind of pick whatever tech stack you want because you're good at code but generally it does not matter just pick something that you know you enjoy and you can do forever i just like this tech stack for some reason i just enjoyed it i learned it first and it's generally stuck with what i've built now the next thing i did was sketch out the platform now, generally, here's where you're going to do like your UI UX. And if you don't know what the UI UX, it's basically a sketch or an idea of what you want in the platform. So in my app, right, I had to draw out and sketch out what I kind of wanted the app to look like, what the tech stack was and how everything relates together. This could mean something like this, where you have a very ugly version of what your app would look like and you code it up real quick. Or it could mean something like this, where you can like draw in Figma. It's really easy. And you kind of just plan out the application, have everything kind of laid out. So you have a general idea of everything. In addition, you could do something like Notion where you can write down what you need in the platform. Like as you can see here, I have everything, uh, every feature I need for the rest of the app. For example, icons better for the roadmap, center chapters. These are just things I need to add, but tracking issues in Notion is very good and I love it. But generally don't stress it too much. Just understand that, you know, sketching out the platform and everything I did here, doesn't really have a process, right? UI UX, you can make it fancy, but don't make it fancy, okay? All I did was lay out everything I did, what I wanted the app to look like, what features I wanted to have, how the entire tech stack comes together. So how does Prisma DB, the database, relate to Stripe? How does it relate to Next.js? Like how does it connect? And because we planned it out and I really like this step, it just give it just gave me a better idea of what I wanted everything to look like and what I needed to do for the next coming months. And that is where I built the platform. That's probably where you have been waiting for is Zar, how did you build out this platform? And it's really simple. It's very simple. And you're gonna hate this and for me saying this, but I literally just spent four months every single day coding. Now in entrepreneurship, I know that a time or long period of time where you're just building something without results is called like entrepreneurial dissertation or something like that. I don't really have a fancy word for it, but in my opinion, here is where, as well as in learn to code, you know, getting good at code, here's where a lot of us will quit. Personally, for me, I quit multiple times here because it's so difficult not seeing results and being unsure of people are gonna like your platform. Like imagine this, right? You are building out something for four months. That's 120 days where you don't know if people are gonna like it, buy it, or even look at your product in the first place. You know, here's where you're going to build features that you don't need. You're going to make a lot of mistakes. You're not going to know what is going on. And you generally have to guide your way through the darkness for these four months. And the reality of this is that every entrepreneur, including myself, I believe is just a part of entrepreneurship has to go through these couple month period where you are just sitting down, working on the platform and building it out on your own, not, you know, unsure if it's even going to happen. And thankfully, you know, we got through it, although I really wanted to quit. Like you can see in a lot of my videos where I was, you know, documenting what was going on in my tech startup series, I just was totally lost. I didn't know what I was building. I was adding features I didn't need to add. I was always going back to fix stuff. It was a long learning process that just took a long time to get to. But thankfully, you know, we got it mostly done and we head over to the last step, which is the marketing. So this is a six step process and marketing is the last thing I'm putting in here because A, the real ones are continuing to watch like to anyone that's watching that's left you are a real one and if you're still here then hit that like button like you saw how the like button did that cool thing like go back okay hit that like button it probably done some cool thing to the like feature on youtube but anyways right i built out the platform i coded it up because i got good at code i have a tech stack that can make a full stack app i've sketched everything out and i've spent the four months 
building out this platform. The final thing I had to do was market it, you know, and marketing in its infant in its basics is just getting items in the eyes of people. And look, I've talked about this before, but if we cannot get a product in the eyes of people, then no one will know it exists. You can have the cure to cancer for God's sake. You can literally have the cure to cancer. And if you can't market it correctly, if you cannot get it in the eyes of people, how can people buy the product in the first place? And for the average person like myself, we cannot afford regular marketing. AdSense is just too expensive, like Google Ads. It's too expensive and a marketing campaign with an agency will cost me like four or $5,000 and I just don't want to do that. But luckily for us, we have the single greatest tool to get our product in the eyes of people and that is content creation. This could be anything from YouTube, Instagram. It could be freaking TikTok, which make it banned in the US. What else is there? Um, I don't know, Facebook, but generally we have literal free marketing for our customers through these free platforms. Literally just post about your content. What do you think I'm doing here, right? I am talking about the platform and there's probably going to be a hundred people watching this video, but that's a hundred people that I'm not, I don't want anyone to buy it here because it generally doesn't matter, but I'm saying content is the thing that will get eyeballs on the product that you have. And if you want to take it another level in what I'm doing, right, is to not only let people know what you are doing, but if you can get people on your platform itself, like it's one thing to just know this exists, but if you can get people to go on your platform and use it, then you are in for a lot of money. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. And to get people to go into your platform, like not only just have an idea of what people, uh, but not just an idea of what your product is, is to, is to make stuff free. And look, I know I'm going deep into marketing and I don't want to like confuse you a lot because I know it's a deep subject, but just give away stuff for free. Okay. If you see on the platform, right, I will be giving away a lot of free courses. Like I'm talking a good amount, but I'm also giving away the roadmap. It's free. The roadmap is free. You don't even have to do anything. Okay. And to sign up for the platform, it's free. And my content on YouTube, you're watching this is free and generally okay. When you give stuff away for free, that's good. This is the most important part. If you can give away stuff for free, that's good. People will more likely buy your paid stuff because they have a greater amount of certainty to buy that product because they know that your free stuff is good. So they look at the paid stuff and like, oh, I really like this guy's free stuff. Let me buy his paid stuff. And because you've given away so many things and people appreciate that, they are more likely to buy your stuff. And look, this is basic psychology and it, I'm telling you, it works 100% of the time. And so again, okay, this is everything I did to build out my learning platform and generally what I do to build out software applications, websites for people and stuff like that. Just learn to code and get good at it. That's the most important part. Have an idea, pick a tech stack. It does not matter. Sketch out the platform with a UI, UX design, Figma, whatever it may be, doesn't matter. Build out the platform where it will take a couple months depending on how difficult it is and finally, Get it in the eyes of your ideal audience through content creation on YouTube. Ideally, it could be Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and give away shit for free. Just give it away. Give away things. It could be a product. It could cost you a bit of money. It's fine. Just get a good thing in the eyes of people and let them use it for free. And you are freaking set. This is how I made money. This is it. This is everything I did. That is literally the full guide of everything I did to build out this platform. I'm telling you, I literally just laid out everything for you. How I picked the tech stack, how I planned it out, how long everything took, how I'm marketing. This is, I'm just giving it away, okay? So if you enjoyed this and you want more of this sort of group, then I do have a tech, uh, you know, Discord group where I'm telling you it is the best platform for developers. Like if you want a place for friends, community projects, jobs, then I highly recommend you join the Discord group. It's just a great group of people. We're at like 700 people, which is insane. And as per usual, if you want the roadmap, which is absolutely free, I will also leave that in the description below. But yeah, good luck with your software applications. If you want more of these types of videos, let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.